Need for Speed 2015 has just turned five years old. That is absolutely insane. I have not played this game in over a year. 25th of October 2019 was the last time I played this game in a 10 hour stream with my friend TJ. Go check out his channel. It's Uncle TJ. This video is going to be all about showing love to one of my favorite Need for Speeds. Now scratch that. One of my favorite games of all time. I hope you enjoy. So here we are on the main menu screen for Need for Speed 2015. I did not mean for that to rhyme, but here we are. So, oh my god, I got 98% through this game, so not quite as much as I did with Heat. Oh my god, it's been too damn long since I played this game. We're gonna hop right into... Uh, can we not play alone? I think there's a way to play alone through... I think actually... Oh, you can reset the journey as well. So you can actually restart your game. Um, wow, holy crap. I don't even know what to say. Um, I'm gonna turn the music down just a little bit. Just a tad more. Uh, we're gonna keep it in the background, obviously. Oh my god. So... Yeah, this menu is definitely a lot different from Heat. Let's be real. Um, but very similar to Payback's main menu screen. Um, I would say it's better though, honestly. We've got all these things going on in the background, of course. That's pretty darn cool. Let's just get into it. So we've got speed lists. Um, so it's already better than Heat in the multiplayer regard. But we're not hopping into speed lists today. We are hopping into all drive. We are going to explore the open world for the first time since the 25th of October. 2019 that was the last time we played this game and it was a 10 hour live stream so whatever here we go finding players i wonder if people are still playing this game surely they are you know if they're not playing heat the dev there's not very much i mean to be fair payback's done pretty decent for servers and yeah this is a very long loading screen i do remember Oh my god. First of all, what the fuck are those rims? <laughs> I actually made this rap, if I remember rightly. Um, so, oh, I don't forgot to acknowledge. It's a fucking Supra. Is that a Supra? Like, whatever. Here it is. I think this was the only Need for Speed game this generation that actually has the Supra. Wow, look at that. That looks pretty darn cool, actually. At the back, it looks really nice. I'm not sure about those rims though. Those rims definitely need to... Oh. Oh, the fucks, buddy. Oh my god, look at the Viper. The 180SX. I think I made the wrap for that. Oh, first of all, let's actually have a look at the Fox, buddy. So, um, yeah, this was from the second playthrough we did of the game. Um, and this was the master build, of course. Uh, and the Fox, buddy, you might notice certain parts of the wrap being from the uh, prologue mission uh, in this game the first time you actually are able to drive a car and uh, obviously I then built off of that wrap and uh, made this you know what it still looks pretty cool I think it still holds up for me uh, the Supra doesn't hold up for me but whatever this looks darn friggin cool I tried to recreate uh, recreate this in heat as you guys know uh, obviously doesn't look as good because certain logos don't exist in that game but look at that man that looks really nice, and the rims really suit it as well. Look, we've got a little bit of film grain on the filter as well. I, I'm loving the garage already, you know? This is five years old today. Uh, well, five years old tomorrow for me, because I'm making the video the day before. Holy dang. So look at this wrap. I remember making a really funny photo with TJ of this. I remember the uh, customization for the Viper actually not being that good, neither. I remember, I think there was like one kit for it. Payback was the game that added a lot more customization. But there was enough in this game. Because this was the game that Need for Speed made its proper return, uh, to be honest. Um, seeing as uh, the game before this was Rivals. And before that, it was Most Wanted 2012. It was quite a few years. Because the last big customization, you know, illegal street racing game before this was Undercover. You know? Um, 
But Undercover was more like most wanted. People wanted Underground 3 and let's be real. Need for Speed 2015 is Underground 3. Uh, right, we got a 180SX. Let's have a look at this. I think I actually remember making the wrap for this one. I think I actually made it grey and red at first, but uh, after I finished the second playthrough, uh, playthrough, made it chrome black. I actually made cars chrome in this game. Because uh, chrome actually suits the cars in this game. Whereas in the other cars, I mean, there's just better colours schemes now. It's an okay wrap. It's not the best, but it's certainly not the worst. Um... I remember this though, I definitely didn't make this rap, but uh, this was my Outlaw car, we did the Outlaw storyline. The BMW M3 E46 Deluxe. So this came with the uh, Deluxe Edition, of course, it has the uh, M3 GTR app from Most Wanted, but obviously I have edited it to put a little bit of a stacked deck type of uh, vinyl on it. Oh, actually I think I did all the white scratchy parts, if I remember rightly. And I put the logos on as well, I'm pretty sure. The only things I didn't do was the, uh, you know, the typical M3 GTR stripes. Um, this car looks really nice as well. The tires look weird and the wheel fitment doesn't exactly work at the back. Can we make a little switch there? Um, if I remember rightly. Yes. So here's the suspension tuning. Um, so we've got, yeah, ride height rake. Oh, I actually can't make it any better. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, so, first of all, I actually want to buy a new car. Um, that I think that's definitely going to be the first thing on my mind. Let's actually... Oh, I think I... I think there was the warehouse option in this game. I, th I think you were only allowed a certain amount of cars. Um, so, let's have a look what we have. So, we've got Eddie Skyline. We can get rid of this right away. But, let's take a look at it first. I do remember this car very, very fondly. I feel like this was a perfect, like, modern um, recreation of Eddie Skyline. This looks so good, man. Ghost did an amazing job on this rap. I think I recreate. Yeah, I did. I tried. I attempted to recreate it in Heat, and I did a pretty good job, if you guys remember the Eddie versus Eddie video that I did with TJ. Shout out to TJ, by the way. Very soon, we'll be doing a live stream on this. Uh, as soon as this video goes up, he'll know to... Uh, Download the game. We've got a uh, Civic. I think that's Joe Tackett's rap from Pro Street. That's a rap I really would have liked in Heat. Yeah, so this was my drag car, if I remember rightly. I made it like Grip. And it was actually a decent Grip car. You know, making Grip cars in this game and Payback were very difficult. Um, of course, we've got the Evo. We've got Taz's rap on the Evo. Taz from Most Wanted uh, 05. It's meant to be an Alexis IS300. They should bring that car back. I got an RSR. What is this wrap? I did not expect this wrap. I don't remember this wrap, neither. It's a decent looking wrap, but I think that's something that's going to change. And uh, I have a Huracan as well. This car was OP as balls in this game. This car was pretty much unbeatable in Drift. No other car was better than this. Um, anyway, let's buy ourselves a new car. I have 1.7 million. Now, that is not... Okay, that is quite a fuckload of money, but it's not a lot of money in heat anyway, because I think the most expensive car is like 2.5 mil, uh, maybe even more than that, I don't know. I think it is 2.5 mil, but 1.7 mil in this game is fucking expensive. Uh, so we're going to sell Eddie Skyline, don't worry, we can pick it back up. Um, oh, Marahoshi's Diablo, Magnus Walker's RSR, uh, Ken Block's Unicorn, the RSR... Wow. See, all the cars already exist. Oh, my God. This doesn't, of course. Uh, the Toyotas have been removed. Oh, my God. The Fair Lady. Um, my stepsister actually plays this game. Has the Fair Lady. Um, dang. Oh, my God. Yeah, there were three different models for these. I can actually see the differences between them now. Before, I wasn't able to. Uh, but you can actually see very slight differences in, like, the lights and then uh, the parts under the lights, very slight differences, like really, really slight. Um, the new MX-5, of course, I think that only has one kit on it. The Sylvia in white, I thought it, I, I honestly thought it would be in yellow, because I think it, oh my god, the M346. Oh, I got a 10% discount as well. Um, oh, this car has a body kit in this game that isn't in the other two. Need for Speed games uh, after this, so uh, yeah, best believe that we're going to be doing a video on this car. Um, the Porsche that nobody uses, 
uh, even now. Nobody used it even then. Um, the Skyline, of course. What's the most expensive car in this game? The Beck Customs, dang. I still need to do a video on that, on Payback. Um, I'm getting round to it. The old Aventador. This car has grown on me since the Aventador S that's in heat. Looks absolutely atrocious. I didn't think I could hate a car more than this one until I saw that one. Uh, but yeah, 202,000. Uh, dang. And I have 1.7 million. So 1.7 million is quite a lot. So uh, we're going to... Oh my god. My baby girl. The Porsche Cayman GT4 is the first car that's at 100k. Dang. I think it's like 90k or 80k in heat. Uh, and it definitely has customization in this game. And I think... I swear I already owned it, but I didn't see it. Um, so I don't know what that was. Wait. I definitely customized it. I do have a photo of it in... Um, oh my... I, I can't believe I haven't... I don't actually own it. To be fair, though, the car didn't really, really grow on me until heat. Uh, and it's really grown on me since. So we're definitely going to buy this car at some point. But I'm going to have to sell one of my cars. I don't know which one that's going to be. We'll see. But, um, yeah, I'm going to build a completely different car today. And I'll get back to you guys once I've uh, chosen. All right. I've made my choice. I'm thinking of doing a third playthrough of this game. Uh, but this time using all the cars in grip. So it makes the game a lot more difficult. And I think uh, our first car that we choose in that playthrough is going to be the GT86. I know the BRZ is the choice. But we'll sell the BRZ and we'll go to the GT86. So... Um, for this video, we're going to go with the Scion, I think it's pronounced. The Scion FRS. So, uh, here we go. It's about 24k. That's cheap as chips. Here we are then. I remember these cars, um, these three cars being the big focus point of, um, this game. Because, um, they have so much customization. Like, they're all literally the same car. I can't believe they got away with this. It's so weird, and I don't know why all three of them are in the game. You know what? I'm not really going to complain about it, because I like the Scion logo more than the other two logos, if I'm quite honest. So, um, if I remember rightly, yes, there's a body kit tab right here. And first of all, we got the rocket body kit. Uh, that makes it look like the GT86 a little bit, to be honest. Uh, well, it already looked like it anyway. We've got the other rocket body kit, the one that's more well known. Uh, the KM4SH kit is decent i wish we could look around it oh my god the varus wide body the aim gain wide body dang these are some pretty cool kits um oh and we can only have like two choices in the actual customization oh okay right um we'll have to make a body kit choice then won't we so i think oh i'm kind of leaning towards the aim gain or the one of the rocket bunny kits, honestly. I think I'm going to use this one for the Toyota in the our Let's Play. So it's either this one or this one. And honestly, I think I'm going to go for the V1 rocket bunny kit. Depends how it looks at the back. I have money to throw. It takes all the logos off, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Uh, oh, there's a, a wide variety of spoilers. Oh, my God. Oh, and it has no spoiler at the start. But, like, it actually has it there. Stock sign spoiler, even though I think that's the BR, just the BRZ spoiler. Uh, okay, we got these like stock spoilers that are on every car ever. Or we can get the Varus GT. Or one of the, both of those look nice. Um, ooh. I'm gonna go with this one. I think that one looks nice. It's certainly different. Let's see what we got. Oh, yes, we don't actually have the tinted lights. In this one, do we? That, that was added in Payback as well. Damn, Payback made a lot of good decision. We're going we're gonna to go with the rare canards. Why the hell not? Oh my god, that looks absolutely fucking insane. I might even remove that, to be fair, because I don't like that. Um, unless we can make the diffusers pretty wide. What was that first one that changed it? Oh, the rocket bunny. Hmm. Oh, we actually can't go with it now. Oh, there's two canards. Hold up. Hold up, switch back. There's two canards. I didn't notice that one. Just adds a little bit onto the end. That could work. Could we not go with any of them though? Oh, we can go with a diffuser with wings. Why not? Let's do it. Oh, that looks nice. Um, exhaust. Hmm. I think we can kind of speed through this. I'm going to go carbon fiber. 
Um, I think we could kind of speed through this because um, you guys know already know all the customization for these. So I'll see you guys. Um, I'll, we'll speed through this and then we'll get out into the open world. Oh my god, I forgot about track width! Oh my god, that looks... Oh my god, I, and I, I know why they removed this, because it kind of... I think track width was kind of one of the reasons the game was... Um, the handling was a bit off, but my god. Oh, and I'm not looking forward to that neither. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that looks really nice. Wow, what do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We're going to keep Ghost on it, of course, because thank Ghost... For what they've done with this game absolutely amazing i want to see what wraps we've got as well uh window tint i always put that low um put it there though so we can see inside just a little bit paint and wrap library uh oh my god i've got all these different wraps i'm gonna have to delete a bunch of uh, yeah i've only got like two free slots so we'll have to go through and delete at some point let's see what's on the most popular i want to see what we got right here uh, we got a Red Bull one. Uh, those ones are just inverted. Uh, Red Bull one right here is pretty cool. I don't think I'm going to see anything that catches my eye, though. So we might just go ahead and skip that and just go ahead to the color picker. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we got then. I think I'm liking the metallic quite a lot here. I forgot to change the rims. Hold up, guys. Be back in a sec. All right. Let me know what you guys think in the uh, comments below. We are just going to go into performance customization now. Holy God. Okay. So um, I do remember this a lot because uh, heat didn't change too much from it. But payback did. And a lot of people were not happy with this. Uh, well, not happy with that. Sorry. Um, people were happy with this because it, it, it actually looks a lot more in-depth than... Any Need for Speed game, if I'm going to be honest. He dumbed it down a lot more. Um, oh my god. A lot of things I don't even know what this means. But <laughs> I have a lot of money. So I know uh, that we're going to do fine. So uh, I don't know what tyres I'm going to go with, if I'm honest. Um, we've got grip tyres. We've got drift. Um, I remember putting my... I remember putting drift tyres on pretty much every car ever so we'll go with that uh, and we'll just like apply all these parts and we'll see what we get to oh and there's action and time refill okay um action nos is I remember that being virtually useless, especially on the, the long sprint events where you're just going down, like, highways and motorways and stuff like that. Um, Action NOS works with drift cars perfectly, but um, for anything else, in my opinion, you'll need time refill. So, we're going to go with that. Now, I'm pretty sure me changing the exhaust... Yeah, look at that. So, that is weird. So, it makes the top speed one better if we remove the full race exhaust if we put a cadded one on instead that's weird i don't know what that is but uh, a decently quick car uh top speed 232 that's weird horsepower has not even got to a thousand but i think you can change that if uh no we can't okay uh is there any all oh, there is there is a better one let's go with that then right it's a decently quick car right now we got handling customization we are more towards drift obviously and oh my god this is a lot more in depth we're gonna put nitrous towards power obviously why wouldn't you and um if i put low downforce on it makes it more drift but in uh, the later games it obviously makes it uh if we have less downforce or is it more downforce you get quicker I don't know what it is. I don't want to fiddle with it. I'm going to try it at stock um, right now. And then I think we'll try grip and then we'll try drift. So without further ado, guys, let's get out into Ventura Bay. Oh, my God. I can't wait. Ooh. Okay, these loading screens are definitely different. They're better than Payback, that's for sure. Payback had some really boring loading screens. I, I, like, I, I have to say that. Payback had really boring loading screens. 
He's got the best loading screens of any racing game ever, in my opinion. Um, oh, and here we are. Oh, and it immediately looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at this aesthetic. Wow, and the soundtrack is absolutely incredible as well. It was trap before it became really bad. <laughs> Right, I remember having a really cool action cam on this. Right, so I gotta remember this is Break to Drift. Yeah, definitely. Oh my god. Okay, so here we are then. Oh my it feels a lot more weighty. Oh, hello. Oh my god, it feels a lot more weighty. Uh than heat does. Oh, this is weird so far. Oh good's an us. Oh, it's good. It's really good. And oh my god. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna take some getting used to, isn't it? I don't think, I don't remember be this one being particularly bad. Uh, a lot of people said it was, but I think that's because it's hard to get into. It is really, it is hard to get into, but it's pretty easy to master. I remember being really, really good at this game, if you go back. I remember, oh, yes! I gotta remember that trick. I do it in heat, but I learned it through this game. Breaking and handbraking at every tight corner like that. Yeah, look at that. Woo! Alright, so I wonder if we can find any other races. I wonder if anyone's actually in this server. Can we bring the map up? I don't know how to bring the map up. Oh, and here's the NFS net phone. We've got Eddie's challenge. Prestige mode. That's definitely something I want to complete now. Um, I think we were... Oh, we were kind of halfway through it. Not bad. I'm going to turn it off, though. Right, we've got Eddie's challenge. All the events completed, obviously. Uh, rep. Oh, yeah, maximum rep as well. Uh, messages, so that has all the um, dudes, the characters, whatever you want to call it. There's actually a dude over here. Mm. Oh, my God, they've got roaming racers. Oh, my God, screw the players. I'm finding a roaming racer, and we're going to begin a race against them. Oh, my God. Need for Speed Heat missed out on these, okay? Oh my god, okay, this is going to take a while to get used to. I do remember there being um, a certain tune that I put on every car um, that I mastered on my Fox body. Where is he at? Oh god, yeah, big D. And he just crashed into a pole. <laughs> um, you want to race, Bumblebee? He's not a very good car, is he? Drift contest? Okay, we'll go, go for it then. Alright, let's see if I can beat this AI dude then. Oh my god. Oh yeah, and I remember this game being quite strict when it came to drifting. I think you lose points if you crash. You see that? How good that how good all the lights reflect off of your screen. I am not used to this. <laughs> he has gone around that corner now. Come on, I can beat him. Oh. Oh he crashed. Nice. Okay, this is really difficult to get used to. I can't even lie. Oh my god. Jesus. Okay, we've got a decent drift right there. I wouldn't even see it's I wouldn't even say it's particularly bad. It's just I don't know, it's different. I think when you mess around with the handling, that's when it gets really bad. Um like a lot of people have said. Got a handbrake turn around here. Get some extra points off that. And a first place for the boy! Not bad. Okay, uh, so I want to I want to try a race now. I want to try a race, a proper race. So uh, let's see what we've got on the map. Um, Maniac or Master? That's a circuit race. It's probably very long though. We got a drag. Oh, they've got drag races in this game. Cool. Um, circuit race, sprint race. Tuners no. I remember tuners no being pretty difficult actually. Uh, we might go with. On the, not on the dream team. I remember that being the finale event. Uh, we got the massive mountains. It's a decent little map, if I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I want a race that kind of brings me to another part of the map. That would be really nice. Um, a legends wheels. I know that doesn't do that. Let's heat things up. Um, let's do that one. Oh, you can teleport to it. Cool, but I don't want to do that. Oh my god, look at this action. Oh, you can actually move this one. Yeah, so when it did this in Payback, you couldn't move it around for some reason. It was really odd. Uh, they added it back in heat, but... Oh, and I, we ha I haven't acknowledged that the action camera is actually different. Look. 
it doesn't show as much over your car than it does in heat, which is probably the reason I just crashed, but we'll push over that. Yeah, it's a lot closer to the car, a lot more like an action cam, you know? I like the one that Payback had though, it definitely gives you a lot more view, it's easier to use. But I, I think I prefer this one because of what it is. Like, if you want a camera that's easier to use, use the normal one. Alright, um, oh my god. Let's turn around then. Let's go then. Oh my god, that's so quick! No, no way. Oh my god! Jesus, that loaded really quick. Payback and heat, I have nothing on that, Jesus Christ. That was really fucking quick. Here we go then. Oh, drifting all around there. Okay, I'm getting used to it again. Let's go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Holy crap, I've missed this game. I've really missed this game. This is one of my favorite Need for Speeds ever. Purely because, not just because of the memories, but I mean, look at the aesthetic. It's, it's so beautiful. It's underground. It's everything you could ever want in a, in an illegal street racing game. Well, almost, you know. Uh, heat pretty much is what I, I, he adds a lot of the stuff we wanted in this game, but also keeps some of the stuff in payback that we didn't want, you know. Hopefully, the next game carries on where heat left off, and hopefully where this game left off as well. But I have a feeling Criterion are going to shake things up, and uh, you know, I ain't, I ain't very happy about it if I'm being honest. But here we go, round the corner. Look at that! Your boy's back. I definitely want to try grip though. And we are in a different part of the map, which is beautiful. Um, pretty nice victory right there. Pretty easy, but it was an easy event. So we've definitely got to try a more difficult event. Where are we at now? Snapshot uploaded. I didn't take a snapshot. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god. I keep pressing the touchpad to bring up the map. And I forgot you have to actually like pause. and Wait, I think if you hold... No, you don't. Okay. Uh, what if I hold that? I'm pretty sure there was like a quick way to get to the map. But I've absolutely forgotten it now. So we're in Franklin Terrace. Uh, I'm going to go back to the garage. And uh, we're going to switch to grip. Alright, so luckily we've got the master slider here. I wonder how grip is going to work. We're also going to have to put on some grip tires as well so let's get that done right away i think that's the reason why we can't go full on grip there you go bada bing bada boom override tuning and for some reason i still can't get oh did i leave the suspension and differential i am so sorry about that okay there we go it didn't matter that much anyway but i think we can go full grip now yes we can so um let's go back to franklin terrace and uh see what we've got uh, for events, uh, and then we definitely want to do one in Royal Park as well, and then maybe get into a police chase over here. I do remember the police station having, like, a jump over the cops. It's really darn cool. Um, right, so we could try a drift race, but we already did that at the beginning. Uh, maybe try a circuit race for grip. Um, let's see what we got over here, then. I definitely want to try, there's a medium event right there, CJ-tastic. Oh, I think that's, a uh, Craptastic, yeah, Craptastic Jack's event. And uh, I remember Black Panther having an event somewhere around here. Yes, Drift Like a Panther. And even Straight Up Hippo had an event. And it was like all the way up here. Um, yes, without a Calaire. That's Straight Up Hippo's event. And I, there's more as well. Like, they gave a lot of love to the YouTubers for this game. Like, they really listened to the community in this game. And that's really all that we wanted, if I'm honest. I think Assume the Position is going to be the only one... The only real choice we've got, or we could t uh, we could try a time trial as well. But I kind of want to see uh, old time attack. I remember I hated those events in this game, uh, but it was Eddie's challenge exclusive. So I think, or we could try turbo ducking. But uh, I definitely want to try a hard event in grip just to see what it's like. So without further ado, let's get this started and let's just see how much we are going to struggle. Here we go. Doom the position. Here we go. Oh god, we're really gonna struggle in this one. I might even have to change the camera. We will see. Maybe I'll try it with the camera and see what happens. Here we go. Ooh, black confetti. Nice Mustang. And we are not starting in last. That definitely makes it a lot easier. Oh no! Oh no! 
That understeer is absolutely tragic. I think you can actually do some decent grip in this game. I know I, I've already done it, but it was through uh, messing with it on the Civic. But on this, oh my god, on the Master Slider, it is absolutely tragic. Can we even drift? We can if I handbrake. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm cheating in that though, so we'll not do that. Oh my god. I can't turn. <laughs> the understeer is absolutely horrendous. I definitely need to do a playthrough of that. I'm fucking, it's always the taxis. I swear to god. Oh, we got a copper on us. He's going to catch us real easily. Hey, maybe we can catch up to these guys, though. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's Melissa in the uh, stock Mercedes. And that crash really slowed us down then. Come on, we can catch up. The police can't, though, apparently. All right, we have two lacks. So if I can win this, it's going to be pretty darn good. It would show I'm still really good at this game. Come on, come here. Come back, Melissa. Baby, come back. Oh my god. This is not ideal. Jesus Christ. You call this grip? It is grip. It's too much grip. <laughs> so they weren't lying to us. You know what? It's not. It's not bad to the point that. It's unplayable, but it's bad to the point you're gonna struggle. But you know what? I think we pretty much won the race now. I think I've actually done it. Let's go. All right, uh, and then we're gonna try full on grip and we'll see what happens. Oh no, I've missed the checkpoint. How have I managed? No, it, no, um, what? No, I was gonna turn, oh, what? Oh, that sucks. It told me I missed the checkpoint, probably because I went round, but then it applied the checkpoint just as I turned round and fuck. Okay. Ouch. I remember that being an issue uh, sometimes. It's pretty rare for that to happen now. Um, I was going to win that race. You guys already know. So we'll just take that as a win. Maybe I can just get revenge on Melissa right now and start a race with her. Come on. Let's go. Please. Melissa? Come on. Don't car zone me. I want to race. Oh, nice driving, jackass. Alright, let me race. Let me race. Here we go. Challenge Melissa. Sprint race. Let's go. Oh, there was an outland race as well. But I remember them being broken, so we'll ignore it. Here we go, then. Grip race right here. Right now. Let's long this video. It, it, this is how long this video is. This is a love letter to this game. Because it deserves it. We'll do the same for Need for Speed Heat, I think. Oh, my God. We just bit, just about made that turn. Let's not sit. I remember that Mercedes not having much customization in this game. Even though it has some amazing customization in Heat. But I remember it not having too many in this one. Oh my god. All the drivers are going to keep up, aren't they? Oh my god. Maybe I don't want to do a Let's Play of this. Or maybe I do want to do a Let's Play of the Grit cars. Like trying to find the perfect tune. I think that could work really nicely. We're going to drift around here that seems to be the only way to win not it now come on right this is gonna be easy now come on don't ram into me that's good i remember this bridge it was one of the more beautiful points of the map let's go all right now we're gonna be able to speed away from it now let's go oh we're at top speed oh it just red bangs when we're at top speed handbrake needed that jesus christ I right, turn, turn! Oh my god, it won't turn! <laughs> it just stops turning randomly and it's the weirdest thing. Right, there we go. Oh, she's gonna catch up if we ain't too careful. There we go. Whew. Oh my god, it actually makes the game so much harder. I really want to do a playthrough of this game and try and find a, um, you know, uh, try and find a good. Um, if we could do it, like I kind of almost did it with the Civic, but if I like make a whole playthrough dedicated to that, that could be, uh, that could be great, you know, and, uh, I think we could actually do that, I have a feeling the Cayman GT4, no, I, I know, I want that to be my car, that's gonna be amazing in grip, so we will see about that, but there's a little win, 
We got the win, even though we were in grip, but the car's fast enough. And we're actually at the docks now. So first of all, we are now going to want to um, go to... Um, back to the garage, and we're going to switch to drift, and we're going to see just how bad it really is in full drift. Okay, I'm scared. Here we go then. Oh my god, already it's got more turning. Oh my god. Oh no! It's got that switch! No, this is what people hated! No! Oh my god. Stay still, please. Okay, okay. Nice turn. No! Oh my god! That's a nice drift though. I can't lie. Oh my god, uh, I don't even know where I'm going, we're just gonna drive anywhere, and we'll see what happens. Oh my god, oh my god, Jesus Christ, it gets so sideways, I can't even, I can't even say anything, Whoa! oh my god, that was so lucky, no, handbrake, yank on it, pulling it, yank the handbrake as hard as you fucking can, Jesus Christ, look at that city in the background, too bad we can't go there, Jesus. I don't even know. Oh my god. Okay, right. That is something uh, we don't want to try <laughs> again. All right, we are gonna definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, move that back to the middle. Oh my god, that was absolutely chaotic. Royal Park for drag the town. Let's see what the drag races were like in this game. And then, well, we got some cops to mess around with. Uh, just to see how difficult they were, which uh, I don't imagine they were. So we're racing, we're racing my baby girl in the Cayman GT4. Oh, we got to do a burnout. Just like Pro Street. Oh, we got to wait for the, oh yes, I remember this, the dots. Oh, I actually got perfect. Yes, I remember you had to stop when the dots got maximum. So there's the Cayman. We're starting out a little bit in front there. Oh, shit. Shift using the right stick? That is so weird. But we've got it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did that a bit early. I think it's too late to shift down. Let's try. No, too late. And we got a drag win. Not bad. About 3.5k with that one. Not too bad. Right. Let's actually look for some police now. Whoa! Where did you go? What on earth? Okay, right. Uh, so where is the police station around here? I definitely want to go look for that right now. Now, um, I think they marked them all on the map, if I remember rightly. Yes, they did. Uh, so let's set a route. And we're gonna see if there's any cops around here. Now, I don't think there's that many around Royal Park, but we can give it a go either way. If there isn't, we'll just go to the docks. We're going to the docks either way. Um, let's have a look then. Popo, you around here? No, the end. Alright, we're gonna set a waypoint for the um, police station at the docks. And, um,. I think they actually stop you for speeding in this game, if I remember rightly. Uh, shit, where is it? Somewhere around here. Surely, right? Right? There it is, it's like hidden. Ventura Bay Police Station. We're gonna set a route for that. Let's go. Police Station, and they aren't here. Wow. Why are they never here? Where were the police, man? I've seen like one all game. Right, so how do we get on the snapshot pro mode? I do want to show you guys that before we do anything. Let's repair first. Did it even do it then? I know it did it. It still looks bent. There we go. Right, the bumper, front bumper looks a little weird. Oh, they are. Okay, they are there. Right, whatever. So I'm going to show you guys the snapshot pro mode. There are a few differences. Uh, obviously, it looks like pretty much everything's exactly the same but hell look at how much better this looks than any other racing game out there like already it already looks better in snapshot than payback and definitely heat oh my god negative oh yeah there's a lot more preset oh wait i don't think there's a lot more anyway there's just different ones so um 
Let's have a look then. Now I think there was something on it. Yes, rain effect. We can actually turn the rain effect off. Watch. The rain is gone. That is something that Need for Speed Heat desperately needed. They took it out in payback for good reason. There's no rain, so there's no point keeping it. But they didn't add it back for heat. And uh, it was so infuriating getting thumbnails, uh, especially when I did online uh, videos with TJ. Having to wait for the rain to stop in-game just to be able to get a thumbnail and take a photo. Like, nah, that just should not be a thing. It was stupid. And I'm just, I'm just glad that you know, things are different now. So, first of all, the focal distance. We want that to change. We just want to get the car in the distance. That's all we want to get. Uh, lens distortion. I don't want that. Um, let's have a look at this then. I want to get a nice little thumbnail here. Now, I think you can actually turn your wheels in... Yes, here we go. So, lens flares, you can turn it off. Oh, and you can actually see, like, the flares gone. Was that in heat? I don't know. This wasn't in heat. Another thing he could have desperately used. But for some reason, that's not the case. It was really weird. But there you go. Look at that. That looks nice. Of course, I think we're in a bit of a puddle or something. But dang, that looks really nice. Uh, I don't know if I'd use it as a thumbnail. But it's definitely good enough. Oh, yeah. And the game's still going in the background. So it, it doesn't matter what we do anyway. That looks really nice, though. Really nice. Um, so I think we're going to screenshot that. Definitely. Uh, but I think I'll find somewhere else to get a thumbnail. For sure. Right, I saw a cop go right past. I don't know where he went. I need a cop. It's the last thing we need. Here he is. Here he is. Now, I remember. You can't take these out. Oh, yes. Pulling over to pay fines. This was in the game before. First of all, though, I need to... Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. He just crashed into those vans. Come on, man. Oh my god, this... Oh yes, there's another thing that Heat and Payback don't have. When you wheel spin, the screen shakes. Why, why did they remove these amazing features? These needed features. Hit jump. Hey, okay, the jumps don't work properly in this game, I remember rightly. They were really weird. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> that was cool. Okay, now watch how fast we escape. Oh, Jesus, keep it going. There we go, some amazing driving by your boy right there. And I think we are just about... I'm surprised we didn't get a crash cam there. Oh, yeah, and did I mention the crash cams? No, I didn't, uh, because they were okay in this game. They were a lot less infuriating than they were in Most Wanted and Rivals. Most Wanted meaning 2012. Did we just go right past the cop? Oh, it was the same cop. He lost us, and we just went around. So there we go. That's Need for Speed 2015, you guys. What a, what a blast from the past, and we are definitely bringing this back for live streams in the future. We, me and TJ have been itching to play this game for the majority of this year, uh, to be honest, but I wanted to leave it for it to be special. And you know what? It feels pretty special playing this game right now for the first time in over a year. Uh, we'll probably never leave this game again. Um, but yeah, me and TJ, we're definitely going to live stream this soon. Quite possibly, most likely even this week. Depends how quick TJ can get it downloaded for. Or maybe he's already at, got it downloaded. We will see. But yeah, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. What did you think of this game? Do you still play Need for Speed 2015? I know a few of you still do on my Instagram. Definitely. Um, I see you guys still playing this game. And we're going to get back into it as well. So maybe I'll see you guys on there. Maybe you guys can join the crew. Um, there isn't a crew on there. But uh, you can join the party um, on this game. And then uh, we can play. Whatever. That will be really cool. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button as hard as possible. Can comment, share, and subscribe. Um, let me know if you want to see anything specific uh, you want me and TJ to do, or just me alone on this game. We will see. Um, we'll see what you say, whatever, um, and I'll definitely take it into consideration, and probably most likely do it if it's an idea we haven't done before. But until then, guys, until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit is uh, coming out in just a few days, three days. 
uh, from the time of this upload. So, yeah, that would be really cool. I uh, can't wait for that, and I'll live stream that. Of course. Uh, so, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Till next time. Peace! What a beautiful fucking game. I love this so much. I'm so glad we're back.